Who's there? Welcome to Farming Simulator 19. This is on Ravenport Farms. Today we're going to do a little riding and also going to talk some about uh, horses. So let's go over to the paddock and get started here. Now first we'll have to do We'll have to look at the horses and see who needs to be zop, zap. Okay, let's try to find zop or zap and then maybe Artford. I just don't know these well enough to zop or zap. There's zap right there. Let's go zap. Okay, now I have been asked, you know, because we do sell these horses and I have been asked what would happen, what will happen to them when they're sold. Now, um, this is what I, you know, have found out and uh, I can't voucher safe as to the accuracy of all of this but first of all I found out because somebody said well are they going to be sold for dog food well that's pretty much been ruled out from any research that I have done so uh, zap and zop and zip won't be sold for dog food uh, they won't be you know as far as I know now the next thing I found out is that they're thinking of training them to uh, perform like the Lipazon uh, stallions and what they're saying is hmm, I don't know quite what's wrong here but anyway I guess we're not going to get up here you know what? They're in honor of my horse Zip. What they would call them is the Zipazons. And they're maybe not quite so sophisticated a, a performance. But what they're talking about are things like they would have a high diving platform. In fact, the story is that they're going to be 50 meters high. I think that's a little bit of an exaggeration. Anyway, they're going to jump into a swimming pool. Then the other thing is that they're going to drink root beer with a straw. And then the, oh, watch out. Then the final thing they're saying, you know, that, that I heard, and I cannot substantiate any of this, but that the, it will be riding bicycles. So that's basically what I have been able to find out so far uh, on that. Now the other thing they said the company Anheuser-Busch is interested in them and I thought this was very interesting because they have Clydesdales that they use at demonstrations and uh, you know, they march in parades with their wagons for, uh, oh, I guess it's maybe somewhat of a goodwill, but it's mainly just to advertise uh, their product, uh, which is Budweiser, as I understand it. And what they want is they have a product that is labeled as being light, and they're thinking that these Clydesdale, Clydesdales are too big. And I know quite some years ago, I actually stood beside a Clydesdale, in fact, a number of times have. And one thing I can tell you is they are big. In fact, years ago, I had a dictionary that a picture of the uh, Clydesdale was beside the word big in the dictionary. Uh, zap, we're almost there. Let's turn around. 
And what they wanted was, since this is, this is uh, you know, a product that's labeled light, they wanted, well, essentially light horses. Now, <laughs> light, if you ever had a horse the size of Zap here step on your foot, uh, you'll laugh about that. But light, relatively speaking, and what they're going to do, they're going to take this other product and they're going to do the same thing. They're going to load up a wagon and march in parades and they're going to show how they back them in. Uh, you know, they can, they can back them. Um, now, of course, that is historical as I understood it because when they delivered their product in the cities, uh, well, and maybe elsewhere, I guess, towns, that sort of thing. Of course, they would have to back, in some of the narrow streets especially, they would have to back the uh, horses in, back those wagons in to make their deliveries. So anyway, that's the story on that. So I think it would be good if I come down through the field here. I think it would be good if they... Uh, uh, you know, did that. I think that might even be better than the Zipazons. Uh, it's hard to imagine some of my horses riding a bicycle, but who knows? Maybe they would. Maybe they would. Okay. Sorry about that. And also, too, I know there were some people wondering why Zap, Zep, Zop, Zip, and Zipe all have a double P in their name. Well, the reason is that, how do you get over here so fast? Wish you'd stop, I'm trying to clean you. Cleaning zap, there you go. Uh, is that I live in the United States in the Ohio River Valley and Zap's got a hundred percent so we're gonna go back and uh, you know I have worked in my career a lot with soils and a soil type that we have here is called Zip Z-I-P-P -P. and I really like that soil because it's a I guess I would say it's a no-nonsense soil. It, uh, when you're in zip soil, there's no question it's hydric. And it's hydric, basically what it is, it has a high water table uh, during the growing season within 12 inches of surface. Now, you know, there's more to it than that. But that's basically what it is. This is a no-compromise soil. When you're in zip, it is hydric. There are no inclusions, there are no associations, there are no transition zones of any, that I, any of these areas I've worked in uh, in this valley. And I'll have to look up sometime and see where the zip comes from. Normally a soil is named for a nearby geographic feature. Like Zanesville, that's a common soil here and that was named in, uh, first described near Zanesville, Ohio. So anyway, uh, that's the story with the horses. So I hope you found that interesting. I really appreciate your watching. I would really appreciate your subscribing, which you can do below. And you can also like and comment below. I hope you have a blessed day.